Yo, what is going on guys? That boy girl back here with another video. And recently I've been getting comments under a video asking me how to mod my Beat Saber, how to get custom songs. So with this video, I'm gonna show you how to mod your Beat Saber, get custom songs, and also downgrade your Beat Saber so you can get better mods like Noodle Extension and Chroma. So without anything else to do, let's get right into the video. First things first, I just want to show you guys how to downgrade your Beat Saber because most mods that we have right now are not really available on the newer version like 1.40. So what we're going to do is downgrade you to 1.20.0 because it has better support for all the mods I want to show you guys like Noodle Extensions, Chroma, Cinema, uh, Trick Saber, Custom Platforms, all types of stuff like that. Everything that you'll actually get to experiment for yourself, see what you like, see what they have, everything like that. But first things first, what you want to do is hit Win R. It's going to open up this little console right here. And then what you want to do is type this in Steam colon slash slash open slash console. I'm going to leave a, a, a text down below in the description so you can type this in. Well, so you don't have to type it in. You can just paste it in right here. So what you want to do is hit OK. And what this is going to do is going to open up a command console on Steam. And basically, the first thing you want to do. I'm just gonna put this probably right beside each other and everything so basically what you want to do is scroll down on this website I'm gonna leave a link in the description below for this website too so what you want to do come right here and you want to try and hover over this text and copy this text all the way up until this point right here and basically all you want to do is hit control V just to paste it inside of here and since we're going to be using 1.29, you don't have to use 1.29, but it's just something that I would recommend using in the first place because it has better support. So what you want to do, you want to copy this number because this is the version number right here. You want to copy this one, make sure you put a space and hit control V and then just hit enter. And all this is doing is creating another folder of Beat Saber that is basically 1.29. And you're just gonna basically paste this inside of your actual Beat Saber folder. So whenever this is done, it's gonna give you like a file location folder to go to and just basically copy all the stuff. So whenever that's done, I'll show you how to do it. All right, so it basically just finished right here. So all you're gonna wanna do is basically copy over this whole entire thing all the way up until right here and then basically hit control C all right and the next thing you're gonna want to do is go to your file Explorer you can full screen it uh, type that out hit control V type paste it in all it's gonna do is bring you to this photo right here so what you're gonna want to do is basically cut copy it doesn't matter what you want to do and then basically locate your beat saber photo which should be inside like your steam library so go to steam library steam apps common and then to beat saber and are you all is going to basically do is just basically paste all of these files into your beat saber folder and when this box comes up all you want to do is just hit replace this file in this destination All right, so with all of that pasted inside the folder, uh, I'm going to delete this. I don't think you guys should get a folder like this in the first place, especially if it's your first time modding Beat Saber. But all I'm going to do is just delete this. And what you just did is basically successfully downgrade your Beat Saber to whatever version you wanted to downgrade it to. So what we're going to do now is just so what we're going to do now is just basically start up Beat Saber and see how it is, see if we're on the right version or not. And after that, we're just going to get straight into modding. All right, so as you can see, we are not on the most recent version of Beat Saber. It doesn't have like the Metallica background. And if you look down right here, it should show you what version of Beat Saber you're on. So as you can see, we're on 1.29. And before we even start modding anything, I would just suggest just to go into a random level, play it out a little bit. You don't have to play the full level out, but just to play it like a little bit and then just close out a Beat Saber. All right, so we're just playing this. I'm just going to go ahead and Alt F4 out of it just to get out of it quickly. And by the way, if you guys see me just basically using my mouse to uh, use it, I'm using a different way. If you want to know how I basically did it, all I do is uh, come right here, go to properties, and type in this launch option right here. And you'll be able to use Beat Saber with your mouse and stuff. But 
All right, so now with getting into modding your Beat Saber, all you're gonna wanna do is come to this page right here. It's gonna be in the link in the description. So this is basically a GitHub page. Let me go back a little bit. So basically, this is a GitHub page. Uh, this is basically where it's at. This is called Mod Assistant, and this is what basically holds all of the mods that you're gonna wanna use for all the mods I said like earlier, like Noodle extensions, Chroma, Cinema, everything, etc. And basically what you wanna do is come right here, hit download, and then come right down here to modassistant.exe. Uh, I'm gonna put it inside my desktop so it can be easier located, easier to locate. And then everything after that's downloaded, you can start it up. And basically, it's just gonna bring you to this screen saying, "Welcome to Mod Assistant." Yeah, I agree. All right, you're able to mod now. And it should, if so, it should come up with the exact version that you're on in general. So it says we're on 1.29. So every mod i'm gonna put on here it's just mods i use camera 2 it's just something i use to uh have a different position on my camera from pc to vr so it can look better uh change the fob i use beat leader to actually record all like my replays and stuff so i don't have to like record in the moment because i don't know whether or not if i'm just gonna beat the level or not so it just keeps all my past gameplays and stuff i use cinema to basically put like youtube videos or if the video has like a music video to it and I want to put it in the background, then I just sync it up to the song in there and it just basically uses that. Uh, another good one, menu pillars. It's nothing really too outrageous. It just adds like a aesthetic to the menu of the game if you want to. I use that too. Uh, Saber Factory is basically what it just basically is. It basically just gives you custom sabers, uh, change your appearance to everything. I don't really use this because I use a different saber mod called Resabers. It adds like motion blur and stuff to it. Uh, if you guys want a video on that, I'll show you how to do that too. Uh, stuff like mapping extensions, noodle extensions. This is this changes your game a whole lot. And whatever level you play that has this on it, it's just completely amazing. Trust me. Uh, chroma is more like around like changing like the environments around you it changes like all the different colors just makes it pop more technicolor is more like a rainbow mod if you want to have that on too it's pretty cool uh what else better song search so this mod right here better song search this is the mod that i use most of the time to get custom levels it's another way how i get custom levels that i'll show you i'll, I'll show you in a second after this but this is kind of mostly the easier way how to do everything uh let me see if there's anything else on here that i use all right nothing too much so after you've picked out all the mods that you want to use and everything what you want to do is just come right here and hit install or update and sometimes after it says it's finished updating sometimes i want to hit the button a second time to make sure it like actually gets in there so Alright, so as you can see, we have all of these mods right here. We have Better Song Search. Uh, I had came in, added a couple of other ones back that I usually use, like uh, custom platforms, uh, audio link, and stuff like that. But, so basically, I forgot. There's basically two ways. So, this is the regular and default way, because they have, like, their own one in here that they usually use to download songs. But, as you can see, like, how this looks, this looks kind of simple. So basically what you want to do is come over here and you can see how more clean it looks on here. So with this, basically it's better to get songs because I can show you like who's the creator, all the expert modes, uh, what is it, the difficulties and stuff like that. If you want to put like certain filters on, you could put it on too. So just to show you, let's uh, type in Tyler the Creator because I've been getting a lot of requests to do more of his songs in the first place. and that one video I had made most people really like that video so if that's what people like I'm just gonna try and do more of that but uh, one of the thing Igor's theme I didn't even know they had that on here but uh, let's as you see you just hit download and here it is right here uh, let me see how this one actually is and it's a noodle extension level 2 okay let's see how this one plays out real quick Oh yeah, this looks crazy. As you can see, yeah, you can see how crazy this looks right here. Alright, yeah, speaking of which, actually, let me get a better perspective on it. So, as you can... Wait, nobody's played this at all? When did this come out? Hold on. 
Oh, this just came out on Christmas Eve, so nobody's played this. Oh, and I'm even getting stuff to play this too. All right, so let me get a better example. Let me see this. So as you can see, like, oh yeah, and all the rainbow colors in the background, this is what Technicolor looks like. It changed like all the colors to everything. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to get custom songs, how to mod your Beat Saber and everything like that. But one other way I want to show you how to use it is uh, go on and going on to a website. Uh, it's easier to do that way too because you'll have a better chance of looking for certain levels. So coming to this website right here, uh, Beat Saber dot com not beat saber beat saber coming right here it shows you like all the other levels that you can get off of here uh this one right here i remember i was gonna play this one so this is a good example so whenever you find a map that you want to play you just want to click on it come right here and just hit the download zip it's just going to create a zip file all it's going to do is go to your folder let me bring that over here come right here and extract it uh, make sure you extract it into a folder basically so that's a folder so all I'm gonna do is all it's just gonna do is just make all of this stuff right here so what I'm gonna do is just basically copy or cut the folder come back over to your steam library where you have your Beat Saber at and go into Beat Saber go to Beat Saber data and come down to cup custom levels and just paste it into there and it should pop up right inside of your game and that's basically how you get custom songs in the first place in general. So, all right, but without anything else to do, I basically showed you how to mod, put custom songs on there, and basically downgrade your Beat Saber. So if you guys have any comments down below, if you guys are having any problems, just let me know in the comment section. I'll try to help you out as much as I can. Uh, without anything else to do, if you could please like and subscribe, it really helps out a lot, it's free. And I just want to say thank you to everybody who came on to that one short who got introduced to my channel because of Tyler the Creator. Uh, I just want to say thank you for coming to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for liking. I really appreciate you guys. I really, really do. And I hope this video helped you out. But without anything else to do, I will see you guys later. And peace.